guys, it's your Nintendo Nerd Shadow here, and welcome to the next Cars game! Like, we're playing one Cars game every year, so it's gonna be great, but this is the last Cars game I'm playing, because this is the last good Cars game, apparently, because Cars 2 and Cars 3, Driven to Win, sucked in my opinion, so I'm not playing those, so don't get me to play those, while I'm playing Cars Racerama. In fact, with Cars Racerama, I've never played the game before, oh I did like try it out just to test it, but I haven't actually played much of the game before, so this is all new to me. I'm going to play this blind, it's going to be all blind. So, yeah, I don't know what's in store for this, and also I'm playing on the Wii version, because um, I got it for the PS3, capture card, it doesn't work well with my PS3, so I had to scratch that out. PS2, it looked just as bad because also frame rate drop and also the um, looking of it, how it's on the PS2, not that great too. So I'm playing on the Wii. The frame rate's not the best, um, but um, it's at least better than the PS2 and my PS3. So yeah, I guess I'll just have to go with this one then. I'm afraid, but let's um let's play this and hopefully there's no motion controls, but I feel like there probably is. Um but I, I, I turned motion controls off for steering, so it's just Wii Remote and Nunchuck. But I'm not happy with the button inputs though. I'm not happy with the controller configuration, the button configuration. I wish if I could remap the buttons, but no, there isn't an option, because this is a kid's game. So let's get into story mode. Let's go. And I'm going to do um uh, um, uh, average, because I've never played this game before. I'll do professional if I played this game before. Like I did, um, I think I did champion difficulty or pro difficulty or whatever I did in Cars Made it National, but, um, not here, I'll just do normal. Normal difficulty. What's this? I've never seen this before. God, if the screen's so fuzzy. This truck looks cool, though. Do we, have, do we get to race? Speed and aerodynamics can do. What? I've never heard Lightning say that before. Okay. This is interesting. Is this another Lightning wet dream or something? <laughs> Girls, Racerama, here we go. Oh, it's just... I thought we were going to get like right into that race, but no, it, it's another another loading screen, unless if we, do we get to be in that race, or what's going to happen? What? Is that lightning there? Why is like, sprint one? Okay, start event. Oh, here we go. Tutorial. Oh, wait, do we, we need a tutorial? Well, I guess I do need a bit of tutorial with these weird buttons, but anyway. It's, it's B to accelerate. I have to press B to accelerate. It's um Z to drift. They've got um drift here. They actually call it drift, not power slide. So that's something different. So that's gonna be interesting. Hopefully we can get into first. With these games, I a lot of the um events you don't actually have to get first so what, what's this star what does that mean we're gonna try and aim for first of course i think though the drifting's a lot better in this game actually because in the other games it felt like more like slippery like kind of more like lightning's got better handling this game like, for drifting at least we have boosts oh we got boosts we got boosts Use the boost to get through! We. Oh wait, are those stars like... Ah, uh, so they're kind of like the CTR symbols and... Ah, uh, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. Okay. So... It's like collectibles, I guess. And there's the third one. Right, it's two laps, so... We can get the other star if we need it. I'm not going 100% this game. I'm playing it blind. I'm playing it blind. <gasps> blind! Oh crap, whoa, okay, maybe the handling isn't that great after all. Watch out for their dirty trick. Um, I need a straight to do boost. Here, go, Struist. Oh my god, you got so much boost lightning. I guess he saved it all from, um, ma made a national, which is good. He saved all his boost. He didn't chuck it away. He didn't, he didn't chuck it all away this time. He actually kept it. He actually 
kept his, um, his, um, crap, my mic is, crap, I thought my mic disconnected, um, okay, he, he actually kept his, um, his boost from, um, Beta National, so that's really good, he didn't chuck it away, okay, oh, oh god, careful, careful, okay, I, li I like this drifting a lot better, and even tells you what angle you're doing it at, that's pretty good, ooh, 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 I hear someone behind, one second behind. I'm not gonna let you. Oh, two seconds behind. There we go. That's what we want. Apparently, like I saw a review of this game, and they said it. This was the best Cars game in the um, Cars One game trilogy. Apparently, so let's see if it is good. But um, he he was playing the PS3 version, so probably the PS3 version is a lot better than this. But the, my PS3 doesn't work well with my capture card, so I can't use my PS3 for that. So, yeah, well, I could, but the quality will look worse than this, actually. It, it looks like... If you see my Sonic 06 videos, you'll you'll know why. Okay, um... I got first, so... I, I, it said I unlocked something, I think. Okay. Let's continue. Is this, um... Is there gonna be a, um, hub world? They're gonna have the Radio to Springs hub world? What's this? I don't want to skip the cutscenes. Oh, ow! This car's two all over again. Are they gonna get killed? <laughs> you know that's not how we do things around here. Who taught you to race like that? What? Kachika, Kachika. Oh, it's Chick. He's back. That's right. Me and some of my friends are here to win the race Rama series and shut down your pathetic Doc Hudson racing. Oh no! What a big D! Oh, you can really tell he's the villain here. Uh, I'm guessing he's gonna be the villain of this game. He's the actual villain. What? Anybody, anywhere. Oh, come on. Everybody knows that nice cars finish last. In your dreams, Thunder. What are you talking about, Thunder? Well, you know, because Thunder always comes after lightning. You said the phrase from the movie. <laughs> what the hell? I, I didn't press anything. It just got cut off. What? Okay. Well, anyway, um, I'm gonna keep traditional. I'm gonna make sure these videos are like 40 minutes long each. Um, I don't want to go too long. It's also the fact. What is this? Radio to Springs? What the hell? Where am I? Okay, well, this is all new. Well, that's cool. It's a bigger hub world. Uh, um, uh, hub, hub world. Sorry. Um, okay. Um, so I think the PS3 version you can actually go. PS3, Xbox 360 version, you can actually explore everywhere without loading screens, but this, I think, you actually have to have loading screens, because PS2 and Wii have limitations, so, yeah. Anyway, um, okay, the map's very similar to how it is in Made a National and, and, um, um, Race Around, uh, and, um, the original Cars game, so, I guess we've got to go to the points in the map. There's a star there. Does that mean we've finished it, or do we have to go to it? That's... Is this the race we did? Um, main track challenge. Well, I haven't got any records on it, so I guess that's the one I do. I think. It's funny, the first stage was... The, I think they were talking about a tutorial, and it wasn't really a tutorial. Well, there's just mini tutorial stuff at the start. Drifting tutorial. I was drifting on the first race. I know what to do. I know what to do. Alright, let's boost. Use the boost. Alright, so this is this a drifting challenge? Okay. Now, of course, I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to do everything. I'm going to try and do what I can. So, I'll try and do at least all the events once. I'm, I'm not going to 100% this game, of course, so I might skip some levels, depending on how long it takes to get through this game, because I want to do um, either tradi the traditional seven episodes, 
or close to that traditional seven um episodes so we'll see um, the traditional 40 minute episodes if we can so yeah we'll see how long this goes depending on um, how many races we can get in and such uh, i don't really like the thing of this drift thing like it's a bit i don't know it's can be fun but it's just a bit repetitive i know i'm gonna win um it, it kind of reminds me of that drift challenge in need for speed because there's a lot of those in the old need for speed games this is where the real i think it was in like need for speed underground underground 2 and um carbon especially but um but in that game you get punished for crashing into the walls but in this oh wait i have to shake what motion controls why motion controls see i i knew it i knew there would be motion controls i called it i actually didn't know there'd be motion controls besides the steering for um we will but but no they'll, they'll actually do motion controls for we remote and nunchuck Oh my god. Okay, I got a new gold event. Okay. Alright, well we unlocked more events. Have, um, oh, I have unlocked dock and new paint shop for dock. Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. You can unlock characters through story mode. I like that. I like that. Because with the original, you just have to use your points to get the characters and such. With this, you actually have to play more of the game. That's, that's quite good. I like that. I like that. All right, two out of four gold events complete. Um, all right. Okay, this is interesting. Interesting. But the lightning as that, well, do I have to modify lightning to go, like be an off-road car or something? Uh, that's a bit weird, but anyway, we'll see how that goes. Well, well, anyway, we did have to make lightning a monster truck in the, um, in the other games, so, um, I guess something different, I guess. Alright, we'll go to the star. I don't want to waste time with the minigame stuff. Go to the star. Go to the star. Like, what, what are these things anyway? There's just mini challenges or something? I think that I, I watched the review. I think it was something to do with, like, small missions or something. I saw, like, one with, like, um, you had to um, do like these little missions like on um, take a photo um, opportunity or something something like that so that's interesting I think it's, it's just gonna be too time-consuming if I do too many of those so maybe one at one or two or three at max but anyway I don't want to do too many of those I'll do I'll do one if we have to but I'd rather just focus on the races and mini games Can we okay we select like that all right Academy challenge one. What's this? What's this? Academy challenge? We gotta go in and go on the Academy. Art Academy. <laughs> I was actually, I, was, I had the thought of getting Pokemon Art Academy, but now that game's rare and I can't get it. <laughs> I'll draw Pokemon. Okay, let's go. Wee! Use the boost. All right, there we go. Wow, that! Oh my God, look at how quickly the boost gauge fills up. Like that boost gauge, though. My God. You could just really just keep spamming boost gauge on like any straight. Oh my God, the frame rate dropped. Okay, I, I don't. Okay, I don't like this frame rate, but well, it is playing on the Wii, and they did intend to make this game for the current generation of platforms. But the Wii was still behind in its time because they still used the same um, power as the GameCube. So, so um, the Wii, GameCube, and PS2 had around the same capability, same amount of power. We probably being a bit better than PS2, just because loading screens, but um, it's still around the same power. Well, at least for the same amount of RAM, at least. Um, Alright. 
Like, I, I don't know all the specs for PS2, Wii, GameCube, but I know they're around the same power. PS, um, PS3 and Xbox 360 obviously being more powerful, so... Yeah, they kind of, um... Ran games a lot better than the Wii did back in that time. Anyway, the Wii still had a lot better games. And a lot of Xbox and PS3 anyway, so... Um, still worked out well in the end. Still, Wii did pretty well. It's one of the most best-selling consoles of all time. It's in... I think it's top three or something. Switch is catching up fast, though. My god, Switch is doing so well. It's doing so well. I think it's, I think it's either outsold or it's going to outsell the PS3s pretty soon. And it's catching up to the PS4 pretty fast. We. I can't wait for the Switch 2 or the Switch U to come out. <gasps> the Nintendo Switch U! <laughs> Alright, we're playing, like, we're playing on the medium difficulty, but I, maybe I should have picked hard, because I'm not really having that much of a hard time. Maybe there might be a way to change the difficulty somehow. I'll, I'll see if I can, because, um, I think, I, I think there, there was a way to change the difficulty at any time in, um, made a national. So maybe there is for this. So if I'm not having enough challenge, then I might turn up the difficulty a bit. Because I'm not having much of a hard time. Look, I'm so they're so far behind. Three seconds, four seconds behind. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Alright. Huns Hudson student run. <coughs> so two new characters. Three new car car kit parts. New concept art. Okay, that's cool. I, I like this unlocking thing. I wonder if they, they, they have more characters this time. Because um, there was like... There was way, like, all these cars that they actually did, like, put time and effort into actually making their model and, um, giving them stats for and actually making them playable. And then they only make them playable for certain modes when they could even just be playable, even if they are crap for other modes. But just make them playable, just more, more character options. But they didn't, they just made it exclusive to certain modes, like, um... Like, Chick, for example, was, or, or not Chick, but I think it was, like, specifically, like, um, who was it? It was, like, um, Daryl Carchip, or whatever his name is, was exclusive to the Piston Cup races when, like, I don't know, they could have just made him playable in other modes. But no, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. Okay, I'm, I'm really, really unsure with this audio, because it's either too soft or too loud. So I just put it to 23 and just hope for the best. So it might be too soft at some parts and it might be too loud at other parts. So that's why normally when I'm recording videos, I try and talk loud just to make sure you can actually hear me. But sometimes when I talk too loud, my mic starts to stuff up. So I gotta be careful with that. I gotta be careful. What's with all these races in the same spot? I'm like, they're all the same. Hudson student run. Wait, is Doc even in this game? Or did he die? Or was this the part when he died? Uh, wasn't he? He was in Made a National, wasn't he? I'm trying to remember. Wait, no, he's there! He's there, never mind, he didn't die. He didn't die. He's, but he died before Cars 2. He died before Cars 2. Here we go! Time to use our broken boosts. Um, I forgot to change the difficulty. Never mind. I'll try and remember to change it after this race. If if I have no trouble with this race, then I'm I'm gonna turn up the difficulty because we want a bit more challenge, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I think the only time some cars was actually hard was with like um some of the piston. Co oh God! Oh, what was that? Okay, I jinxed it. Well, the, the only time, um, Cars was hard was, like, with the Piston Cup races, like, I, I always found the Piston Cup, um, races challenging. Even in my, um, my recent LPs, like, last, or not last year, but it was in 2020 when I did the Cars 1 game. And, um, yeah, it was actually still quite challenging. And, and in, oh, and in, um, Cars, um, made a national of the ones quite challenging were the some of the um 
the stadium races. Some of those were quite challenging, so. Yeah. And the stadium races are kind of like this. This is pretty much just a new version of the stadium races. So, I guess these can be quite difficult. But with this amount of boost we're allowed to use, it's not that bad. Okay, so this one has three laps, so I'm sure we can get to first within that time. If we end up getting second or third, I might just leave it on medium for a bit longer. Just, just so it gives me a bit more time to get used to these controls, because I think the other reason why I'm screwing up a little bit is because of the controls. I'm, I'd rather use a standard controller. Like, um, oh, I would have, well, for this I would have used, um, either a GameCube controller or, um, what's the other option? A GameCube controller or the, um, or the, um, classic controller. But no, those are not, oh, those are not options, apparently. I can't use them. It's not an option. It's only Wii Will or Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Those were the only options, so I was stuck with that, but, um... I'm actually, um, if you're wondering, I'm actually running this game on the Wii U, just so, um, there's a be lot better quality. So, um, if, it's, if I did on the Wii, the quality would be a lot worse than this, but it might, um, the games actually look a bit better on the Wii U, so that's why I'm playing this game on the Wii U. Um, now, I, like, if this game did have GameCube compatibility, like, or, well, the classic controller compatibility, I would have still been able to use um, my GameCube controller for the Wii U because thanks to Big Mario Fan 100, um, a few years ago he gave me um, um, GameCube controller um, adapters as a prize for, um, I think it was one of his reaction contests, I think. Long time ago, it was a long time ago when we, we used to do reaction contests and um, give away um, prizes to fans or shout outs or something so so that was some um, that was good fun but I think it was too, it was a, it was too much trouble than it was worth so um, it's just to like um, also with like only one prize though like everyone with one per it would make one person happy that gets the prize and then everyone else a bit disappointed like oh I didn't get the prize I know my I, I put so much time and effort into reactions so um, if I do co any sort of competition thing, I try to make it fair for all and try and get the most out of it. So, what is this? Is this a Piston Cup race? Do we, wait, do we get to do Piston Cup races in this game? Crap, I, I can't go backwards. It's A to go backwards. Yes, you have to press A to go backwards. Yes. Alright. Oh, A, there we go. Place for you. Oh, it's not piston cup races. Okay, I can only go to Radio to Springs. Okay, that's that's cool. Okay, Mac isn't to take you to piston cup races, but he's to take you to different areas. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. So it's not like the other games where you have to actually go to um the um literally the outskirts of the area just to um go to the to go to the next area but with this you i can just go to the center and then you can oh yes nostalgia bolts tutorial collect bolts what bolts what bolts okay so from the looks of it they just recycled um yeah exactly the same from cars game one and made a national so i think maybe it looks a little bit more like made a nationals because it's a bit more updated visuals but because of the crap quality on the wii i think it, it's looking more like how it did on the car, cars one game actually what the you have unlocked i i unlocked something i, I forgot what I, I i didn't read it um wait so if i collect these oh okay so it's just points all right so I'm just gonna do a little bit of exploring. So, okay. Oh, the map's actually more detailed. It actually shows the little cones on the map. That's cool. All right. So I have to go to the star. I have to go to the star, which is all the way up here for some reason. Why does it have to be all the way up there? Why? Is it in the other area, or is it in Ornament Valley? 
Wait, is Ornament Valley explorable from here? Wait, no way. No way. It is! I can get through here without a loading screen! Okay. Okay, well, uh, I thought that was only for the PS3 and X, um, PS3 and, um, Xbox 360 versions, but, oh, you can do it here. The Wii is capable of doing this. This is pretty large area. Oh god, I missed it. You're making me go all the way out here just to do a race. Is this Rust Bucket? It's Rust Bucket, alright. I'm glad we get time to do Rust Bucket again. Rust Bucket. Um, that's not Rust Bucket. Smash Up. I'm sure it's Rust Bucket, but anyway. It actually showed a Rust Bucket, so... I guess that indicates Rust Bucket. Yeah, Rust Bucket. Here we go! What are you doing? Chasing the hunt. Around here, you gotta make your own fun. Let me reintroduce ourselves. Jog your memory like. I'm Bubba, and these here boys are Tater and Tater Jr. What? The world famous Poe Tater Towing Company. Say hello, boys. Hello, boys! Hello, boys! Hello, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Will we have to play as Mater or what's gonna go? What's gonna happen? I feel like some of these cutscenes get a bit cut off because in the original Cars and Cars Mater National they kind of faded out at the end. Like there's more of a transition instead of just cut off. But like I thought, like oh, did I skip it? I felt like I skipped it. I feel like I pressed the button to skip, but no, it's just a cut off. Smash up tutorial. What? I I missed that. What do I do? Okay, I'm probably gonna do something wrong. But again, I forgot to change the difficulty. All right. Don't worry. I don't know how to play this. Okay, I, I guess I'm just gonna assume it's just a race. If I lose points or something for not doing what I meant to do, then, then crap. Okay, at least Mater can drift. That's gonna make it so much easier. Except Mater's got crap handling. Oh my god, Mater. He's got crap drift. For some reason, with, with Wii Remote and Nunchuck, I feel like I want to shake the Wii Remote but, on, for those jumps, but <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It's not Mario Kart. I'm in third. Great. How many laps? This is only three laps. Oh my god. Mate is just terrible. Like, he's got crap handling and he's got crap drift. Oh my god. Like, who would want to play as Mater? He's, he's awful! Like, I need to- I need to drift from a better spot, but I can't find the right spot. The last thing we need is to completely screw up somewhere. Like, completely get turned around or something. We're fourth. Is this last? Am I in last right now? Oh, I, I don't even know. I don't want to check because I don't want to lose my seconds now. Oh wait, I could get back into first. I could get him back into first. Come on. Oh my god, I'm pressing left. I'm pressing left and it didn't let me go left. Okay, I don't like this track. This track is awful for Mater. And there's so much, um, the stage has it to just the little bits of junk that's left so that's not good I'm pressing right I pressed right god damn it oh my god this is awful mate has got awful handling I'm pressing oh god I'm holding right and it's not going right right there we go I'm first somehow I'm just gonna use all, all my boosts at every straight I can so I don't want to lose this race. I, I think I, I, I've, I've got a streak of getting first every time. Every time. Oh, get first! Yes! Get first! Yes! There we go. We got first. Yes. You have unlocked new gold event. Mate of the Greater. And two new characters. Okay. 
I'm looking characters quickly, like, how many characters are playable in this game? I, I bet there's lots, if that's the fact. You won this event. Yay. Continue? Yes. Yes! Alright, um, on this five to edit something out, we're about halfway through, um, or not halfway, we're, um, half an hour through the video, so I might do a couple more events and then wrap it up. Depending on how long they are. So well, it's not like they're gonna be like four or five minutes. Well or they might be, but anyway. Let's see how we go. I wanna wrap up at forty minutes. Because that's the classic. The traditional way to, to the traditional um the traditional time. The traditional traditional. Alright, so we'll go to the flashy star. Always go to the flashy star. There's like all these little events that I'm not gonna waste time in. There might be, some, might get some good unlockables from it, but I'd rather just get on with playing the main game. So, yeah. I do, I do want to get some different skins for lightning though, different paint jobs or whatever you call it, but... Okay, I can still jump. Oh yeah, you can jump by doing that. I forgot. Um, it just feels weird doing it with the Wii. Anyway, I have to go through here now. I'm glad they kept everything from the original. Do they even... Is this based on Made in National? Let's see. Made in National or um, the original? Let's find out. This is based on... The original, actually. They... They kept the original areas. Okay. So, it's based on the original... Um, yeah, the original Radiator Springs, not the Made in National Radiator Springs, so that's good. Unless if they did merge some stuff back from Made in National, because there are some extra areas that um, um, is only in Made in National. So that's good. This area is huge! My god! It's huge! Alright, this, these are so far apart. Oh, I was just going to press A. Great. I think we probably only have two races left. What's this? This is Mater to the Greater. Alright, that's what it is. Do we have to play as Mater again? Or do we have to race Mater? Let's find out. Hopefully it's just race Mater. But if I have to play as Mater, I'm going to be annoyed. I'm going to be annoyed. And I have to play as Mater. What the hell is this? Is this some... What the hell is this crap? What the... So I have to do jump. What the crap? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh god. What the hell is this? I have to stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Crap, what was that? Did I die? I died, didn't I? Wait, wait, wait. I have to shake. What, what the hell is this? What the hell is this motion control crap? Did I make it? What the? No, 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 no! What do I do? Uh, uh, uh. I did it! I did it somehow! What the hell is this crap? Okay, I really, really think that that should have not been in the game. That was not fun at all. That was just felt like some mini game rather than an actual event. I think they could have left that one out. That wasn't really that fun. Unless if someone disagrees with me, then that's your opinion. But I just thought it was crap. Or maybe it's just because of this I've n I didn't play this game in my childhood. I should have. I should have because this game came out when I was still playing my PS2 back in the day. Um, but um, still, it's it's not that great what they did. Not that great with that one. Anyway, we'll move on to the next event, and hopefully it's an actual race. Because we're here for the racing, not the crappy, whatever the hell that was. American Mater does a weird jump. Can I, is there, can I look at the map? Map? Map, there we go. Right, I just want to see where it is. Whoa, we got the whole, we even got um, Telford Pass. No, you're kidding. We have to go all the way to there. Can we, can we, we can't even jump there. We can't even super jump there or whatever. We have to actually go all the way up there. Alright, I guess that's definitely the last race we're doing for this episode. I have 
to go all the way up there. Maybe it's better that we... Ugh. Well, I guess in the original you had to do that as well. You can't just super jump to wherever. Uh, the only way to do that is to go on a race you've already completed and then... Um, and then oh, no! Oh! Oh! I made it! Oh ho ho! Yes! Alright. Well, at least this time we don't have loading screens, so... Um, we can actually go just straight there without loading screen. That's good. I wonder if the PS2 can handle no loading screen. The Wii did. It's just got this huge area. And you can see how awful the render distance is. Like, I feel like this render distance is worse than the original. Oh my god, look at that render distance. It is just everything just rendering in. Like if we go super fast, we might even see a bit of um out of bounds stuff. Possibly not be able to get into out of bounds, but like see like I don't know a, a white um a white blank spot or something in the distance. We'll see. Right, shortcut is to the left, so we'll go that way. Unless they've still got the mine, but... Yeah, the mine's good. They, they, um, they kind of, they scrapped the mine in the hub world. On, um, in Made a National. Um, but there was the mine section in, um, one of the races, so... That was good, but they changed it a bit, they modified it. It was kind of, it was, they changed to the point where it was unrecognizable. It almost felt like it was, well, it might have been actually a different mine, but I think they were intending it to be the same mine, but it was a bit different. Alright. Is this even the s I feel like, this is meant to be the shorter way, but I feel like they've, they've changed it. It's been all simplified. Everything's been simplified. Okay, to be honest, the Cars 1 Radiator Springs looks better And wait, wait, did they keep the mine? I just saw something Did they kept keep the mine? I think they kept the mine, wait Okay, I don't think we'll have time for the next race, unfortunately But we'll just at least try and get to the top So we can at least save there and hopefully spawn back there next episode I just want to see if the mine is still there the mine is still there! Yes, they kept the mine. Good. Because that mine tracks are um, pretty fun in Cars 1. Hopefully they make um, um, use of it in, um, in in some of the tracks. Like, at least one of them. At least one! So it'd be good to do that again. Wait, wait. Where am I going? Uh, the wheel well is back there. Or I'm going the wrong way. I'm going completely off the course. What if I... Okay, there's an invisible wall. Alright. Go back. Press A to go back. And then E to go forwards. And hopefully it will spawn me back here. When, um, for next episode. If it doesn't, I'm going to be a bit annoyed. And great, it's on the opposite side. How do I even get there? How do I even get there? Great. All right. Well, I'm, ju I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut it here because we're about to reach 40 minutes anyway, pretty soon. So I'll just save the game here. Hopefully, it will um, spawn me back here. Maybe not, but hope. Let's just hope it does. And if it, um, may maybe no, maybe what I'll do is I'll just come back to this point. Um, um when I open up next episode. So when I open up next episode, um, I'll just start it right before the race. So we don't have to go all the way back up here again. So yeah, well, that's um, part one of Cars Racerama. So um, I think this game is meant to be bigger than um, Made in National and Cars 1, but we'll see how it goes. Cause I, this is all new to me. This, I'm playing this all blind. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. That was an interesting part one. Wait, I've 22% completed the game. Okay, maybe it's not as big after all. Maybe I was meant to do like the side quests or something, but um, we'll see if I do end up having to, but 
I don't know if that's necessary. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Anyway, I want to get through this game quickly, just so I can get the main stuff out of the way, and then, if necessary, then I can go and do the side stuff later. But anyway, anyway, this game is pretty good so far. Um, I I, I regret um not playing this in my childhood because I probably should have. So, um, I would have experienced it in my childhood and maybe been more a bit more attached to it because. The only nostalgia for this game I have is Radiator Springs, and that's it. Everything else is new to me. So, yeah, no, uh, not much nostalgia for this game, because I haven't played it, of course. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's it. Oh, yeah, if, for you guys wondering when the next Amiibo Tony is, I'm, I'll, I'll try and do more Amiibo Tonys at some point um, this um, second half of the year. So, I hope you look forward to that. And I should also try and see if I can do um, FNAF Help Wanted at some point as well. Because um, I think that would be good to do before um, this game um, Security Breach comes out to Switch. So, yeah, that would be good. That would be good. Alright guys, I guess that's it for the video. So, hit that like button, share to your friends, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I guess I'll see you next time for some more gaming. Bye.